Hello everyone. Welcome back to Wearholic. Today in this video I will conduct a heart rate and GPS accuracy test of the Galaxy Watch 6. When the Galaxy Watch 4 was launched, people were quite disappointed because its readings differed from accurate readings. Samsung made some improvements in the Watch 5. Now I will find out if the expensive and the latest Galaxy Watch 6 provides accurate results or not. I will compare it with the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music, which is generally considered one of the most accurate smartwatches available for activity measurements and at the end of the video, I will also compare it with the Galaxy Watch 5. So keep watching the video until the end. Let's find out how much improvement has come in the Galaxy Watch 6 in terms of heart rate and GPS accuracy. I have worn both watches on my wrist, Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 on my right wrist and Garmin Forerunner 245 Music on the left. This time I have placed them on different wrists because on the Galaxy Watch 5 heart rate and GPS review video, I received comments suggesting that different placements might show different results. So this time we will try wearing them on separate wrists but at the same positions. On the screen you can see the results of both watches within the app. The readings on the left side are recorded by the Galaxy Watch 6, while the data on the right side is from the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music Watch. First, let's look at the distance. According to the Galaxy Watch 6, we ran 6.35 km, while according to Garmin, we ran 6.2 km. There is a difference of approx 150 meters. Here you can also check other data like work duration or moving time. Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 shows 43 minutes and 10 seconds workout duration, while Garmin shows 43 minutes and 15 seconds moving time. This is approximately the same. Now, talking about the heart rate, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 recorded an average heart rate of 160 BPM, while the Garmin watch recorded 159 beats per minute. There is only one point difference between them. Now, I will display the heart rate data for each kilometer. To do this, I will sync Samsung Health data with Strava because Samsung Health does not display heart rate for every kilometer. If you are unsure of how to link Strava to Samsung Health, then tap on the i button to watch a video on it. Here is the Samsung Health data synced through Strava. Let's check the heart rate for each kilometer. I ran a total of 6 kilometers and 400 meters, which is why the data is displayed in 7 sections. In the first kilometer, the Galaxy Watch 6 counted 148 BPM and the Garmin watch recorded 147 BPM. In the second kilometer, the Watch 6 recorded 156 BPM and the Garmin watch also recorded the same at 156 BPM. For the third and fourth kilometers, both watches showed the same result. However, in the fifth kilometer, there was a slight difference. The Galaxy Watch 6 displayed 167 BPM while Garmin showed 165 BPM. Moving to the next kilometer, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 showed 163 BPM and Garmin displayed 164 BPM. In the last kilometer, there is a 4 point difference. This could be because I only ran 400 meters in this segment, which is less than half a kilometer. That's why I am not including it in these results. Regarding the overall heart rate, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 showed good results. Most of the heart rate readings match with the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music. There is just a slight difference in few readings. Now let's look at the GPS accuracy. You can see the GPS maps of both watches on the screen. It seems to me that they are exact copies of each other. The GPS route recorded by the Galaxy Watch 6 perfectly matches the GPS recorded by the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music. The starting and ending points are also exactly matching. From my experience, I found the GPS accuracy to be consistent. In Samsung Health, we can see some data that the Garmin watch did not record. The Galaxy Watch 6 can monitor advanced metrics such as asymmetry, ground contact time, flight time, regularity, vertical oscillation, and stiffness. To track these metrics on the Garmin Forerunner 245 Music, you will have to buy a running dynamics pod separately and link to it to your Garmin watch. Now, I will interchange my watches and run again to compare the data just like we did earlier. You can see that I have put the Galaxy Watch 6 on my left hand and the Garmin Forerunner 245 on my right hand. Now I am starting my run. I ran approximately 6 kilometers 
and you can see the recorded data on the screen. I started my run at 7.4 am and finished at 7.47 am. According to the Galaxy Watch, I ran a total of 6.31 km in 43 minutes and 9 seconds. Meanwhile, as per the Garmin 400 245 Music data, I ran 6.29 km in 43 minutes and 7 seconds. This is not a big difference because it took me some time to start recording on both watches. So there might be a few seconds difference. The average heart rate according to the Watch 6 was 160 BPM while the Garmin 400 245 showed 158 BPM. There is a 2 point difference in the average heart rate between the Galaxy Watch 6 and Garmin 400 245 Music, which is not too significant. In terms of calories burned, the Galaxy Watch 6 indicates 585 kilocalories, whereas the Garmin Watch shows 588 kilocalories burned. This shows almost the same results. Let's now check how the heart rate varies per kilometer. For this, we will again check the Galaxy Watch data on Strava. Here it is. In the first kilometer, according to the Galaxy Watch 6, the heart rate was 156 BPM, whereas the Garmin 400 245 showed 146 BPM. There is a 10 point difference between them, which is quite significant. Moving to the second kilometer, the Watch 6 recorded 159 BPM and the Garmin Watch recorded 155 BPM. After that, in the 3rd kilometer, there is also a 10 point difference. In the 4th kilometer, the Galaxy Watch 6 showed 164 BPM and the Garmin showed 161 BPM. By the 5th kilometer, the data from the Galaxy Watch 6 and Garmin Watch started to become similar. Both recorded 164 BPM. Finally, in the 6th and the last kilometer, both watches showed the same heart rate data. If we look at the overall results of the second test, there is quite a significant difference. This is not a good sign for the Galaxy Watch 6. Such a substantial difference in health tracking metrics by Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 could raise questions. If you have any thoughts or comments on why there was such a difference in this data, please let me know. Now let's examine the GPS tracking. The GPS tracking for both watches is identical. You can see on the screen that both routes look almost the same and the starting and the ending positions are also at the same place. The GPS tracking of both the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 and the Garmin 400 245 Music has given almost identical results in both tests. But when it comes to heart rate in the second test, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 has given disappointing results. Now I will do a heart rate and GPS test of Galaxy Watch 6 with Galaxy Watch 5. In this test, I have worn the Galaxy Watch 6 on my left hand and the Galaxy Watch 5 on my right hand. Then I went for a run. Now let's check the variations in the results we have obtained. According to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6, I ran 7.4 km, whereas according to Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, I ran 7.26 km. However, both show almost the same running duration, approximately 52 minutes but I got some difference in running distance. This variation could raise questions again on Samsung Galaxy watches. Talking about the GPS tracking, you can see that there is a difference in both routes. You can observe that there is a significant difference in the routes taken by both watches. To me, the Galaxy Watch 6 seems more accurate because its GPS tracking lines are precisely on the track. Whereas in the GPS tracking of the Galaxy Watch 5, the line is deviating from my track. If you look at the starting position, then you will find a difference in this as well. The Galaxy Watch 6 started tracking from where I began, but the Galaxy Watch 5 started tracking after a while and showed my starting position wrong. There is a big difference in the GPS data between both watches. Both watches show different data for calories burned. According to the Galaxy Watch 6, 539 calories were burned while the Galaxy Watch 5 shows 557 calories burned. Looking at the average heart rate, the Galaxy Watch 6 shows 154 BPM, whereas the Galaxy Watch 5 shows 149 BPM. This is a significant difference again, and I am confident that the data from the Galaxy Watch 6 is more accurate than the Galaxy Watch 5. Samsung might have improved several aspects of the Galaxy Watch 6 compared to the Galaxy Watch 5, and this might be the result of those improvements. What is your experience? Tell me in the comment section. That wraps up today's video. Remember to subscribe to this channel 
and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up stay tuned for our next video and until then take care thank you for watching this video